Hello and welcome to lesson 15 I believe we're on. Um, this lesson I'm not going to show any new spin, I'm just going to show how to transition between spins. Uh, this is good for building your own routines, freestyling. So, uh, just I've already gone over some examples of this in previous videos when I showed you some new spins, but this is just going to elaborate on those transitions. So just to give me an example of what I mean. Um, when I'm spinning, normally I usually start with the finger roll. From there I may go into some crossovers. The basic version for speed. I do a couple of those and then from there I may transition to the advanced version of the crossover. From those I might go into a figure eight. into a vertical backspin. Okay. Maybe into a halo. Okay. If I started from a front spin, let's say, which I normally do, from there I could either go into a horizontal backspin. Or I could go into another figure eight to a vertical. So again, the concept here is letting the staff go where it wants to go, where it naturally uh, wants to go. This is more of a feel kind of thing, knowing where the momentum wants to take you. Like from this, I could go into vertical, or I'm sorry, horizontal backspin to an overhead. From the overhead, I could go into the arm tuck. To another backspin into my front spin again. Okay, so that's the basic concept there. Uh, another quick one. Uh, I could start with my flowers. Okay, Actually, I'm going to do it from the side. This is the third version of the flower that I showed you, the Ray Park version. From there, I could switch into the two-handed upward flower. I'm sorry, figure eight. I can take that into a downward figure eight. Into a pose, okay? So that's the concept with transitions. Uh, you wanna go, you wanna spin the staff where it wants to go in terms of momentum. Um, like for instance, I couldn't go from a vertical backspin to, let's say, an overhead. It wouldn't look as good. I mean, it, it just doesn't work as well as going from a horizontal backspin to an overhead. So that's kind of what I'm getting at. You want to go where the momentum wants to take you and not try to force it into another spin. So that's the concept for this video. Uh, work on that. It's, again, start slow uh, with your spins. And then think about where the next natural spin would be. Okay. So from there, it would naturally go into a vertical backspin, into a halo, into maybe a front spin. Okay, so work on that. Um, very good for building routines. Very good for freestyling. Um, if you have any videos that you'd like to respond to this video with, I'd be happy to see them, see what you could come up with. And I will see you in the next tutorial.